Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Higher Mathematics. I really appreciate that you watch my, my channel and thank you for this. In this video we are going to solve this really interesting question. So we have like exponential equation, as you can see we have x to the power square root of x equal to 10. On the first side this is like an easy question because we have like x right here, we have only square, it's not like a huge expression right here with the, with the limit with 10th power, 12th power right here. So as you can see no like complicated expression, we have only x, we have square, we have 10. So this is a good number. But it's not like an easy question as you can see because we need to know about really interesting tricks and I'm going to show you these tricks here in, in, just, in just one minute we will solve this question. So let's start. First of all, we have x and square root of x. It's not good. We we need to have uh, maybe the same base and the same exponent. It will be really great for us. So in this case, let's try to express this x. Take a look closely what I'm going to do. Let's express this x as square root of x square root of x square. So this x can be written as square root of x square. Yeah, we can easily raise this to the power, to the second power. So it, it, it will be really great. And right now let's try to mm, uh, change this x by this square root of x square. It will be completely the same. Yes, we will have the same answer. So squares to the power second, it will be the same x. So let's let's try to do this. So we have square root of x, we have we have to the power square, right here and we raise this to the power square root of x. Yeah, so we just change this x by square root of x to the power square, to the second power, okay? And equal to 10, of course. So I hope you understand this step. This is the first uh, really important step in our case. Okay, right now we need to know a power rule. This is the rule of exponent, really great rule. So if you have, for example, a to the power b raised to the power c, we can easily write it as a to the power b times c. Okay, we just can easily multiply this b times c and in our case we can easily multiply 2 times square root of x. Okay, I try to explain you step by step, I just want all students understand or everyone interested in this question, I want you to understand this. So I, I explain slowly and step by step. Okay, square root of x, square to the power square root of x can be written as square root of x to the power 2 square root of x, yeah? According to this rule, yeah? Square root of x to the power 2 square root of x equal to equal to 10. Okay? Okay, so I hope you understand this step. This is really important. As I told before, we need to have uh, like uh, the same base and the same exponent. And in, in this moment we have this. So we have same base, same exponent, and right now we can easily mm, make a substitution right here. So take a look closely. Same base, same exponent, so square root of x equal to, for example, in our case, let be equal to y. As I told before, doesn't matter, t, y, we have, for example, y, and it's it's really great. Okay, right now, very simple question, yeah? We have y to the power 2y equal to, equal to 10, okay? Okay. Very simple, yeah? Instead of the square, we have y, so it's really great. We just simplify it according to these two steps. Right now, we have this power right here, <clears throat> so it's really great to know or remember about natural log. Or oh, doesn't matter, log, maybe natural log, whatever you want right here, we need to know about this. So let's try to apply this natural log in both on both sides. So we have natural log of this expression y to the power 2y equal to natural log natural log 10. So we just apply natural log on both on both sides. And right now <coughs> we apply it for this uh, move. We need to bring this to y on the right here as a, as a product. So we have 2y times natural log y okay equal to natural log natural log 10, okay? So I hope you understand this step. We just bring this according to natural log property. Maybe this is the main log property. We, we Everyone need to know it or everyone need to remember this, this step. Right now, take a look closely. Let's try to group variables and constant because this is a constant, this is two, this is a constant as well. But right here we have like a mix. We have, we have a constant, we have a variable, we have a variable, we have a constant. Let's try to group our constant on the, on the left-hand side or on the right. Let's do this on the right, it will be better. So for this, let's try to divide both sides by two. <clears throat> if we divide both sides by two, we have like, we have like y times natural log y equal to natural log 10 over over 2. Okay? <clears throat> okay. So I hope you understand this step. We just divide from both sides to from here we cancel it. It appears in, in the numerator. Okay. What are we going to do next? Uh, let's try to 
express this, let's try to express this y in another way, because I'm going to explain you about lambda w function and we need this, we need this move. Take a look closely. Let's try to express this y as e to the power natural log y. Nothing changed for us, but it's really important moment to have this e. And I'm going to tell right, right now in 30 seconds uh, this uh, lambda w function. So let's change this y as e to the power natural log y. So we have e times natural log y times this natural log y equal to natural log 10 over 2. Okay, I hope you understand until this step. Right now I'm going to explain you about Lambert W function. Okay, it's really important function in, in math, in higher mathematics, and maybe you'll learn this function at school. This It will be really great. So how this function looks like? A lot of students have difficulties with this function, but I'm going to explain you in, in, in very simple words, in very simple words. Take a look closely. If you have expression like A, times e to the power a. Just imagine you have this expression. You have 100% you need to have this e and a, this is wherever you want expression. For example, you have like natural log uh, x, we have sine x, we have like x squared, doesn't matter. If you have the same a right here and the same a as a power of this e, if you apply lambda w function from here, this lambda w function give us only a, okay? This is really important. This is really important step right here and really important rule. So I hope you understand this step. And right now, if you don't understand this, this classic rule, I'm going to show you in this uh, our in our question. Okay, take a look closely. We need to have like a and e to the power a. And take a look closer to our question. Let's try to um, change uh, an order. Let's try to write this natural log y at first times e to the power natural log y equal to natural log 10 over over 2 and take a look closely as I told before we need to have like the same expression and we need to have e take a look closely we have e this is really great <clears throat> and right here we have e and we have natural log y and this natural log y doesn't matter whatever expression we have the same expression as a power and as a, a expression that we multiply it with with this e so we can easily apply lambda w function and we simplify this expression a lot Okay, we have lambda w function of this expression natural log y times e to the power natural log y equal to lambda w function. We need to take it, apply lambda w function on the both side, natural log 10 over over 2. Okay, right now, as I told before, take a look closely, very, very great simplifying step. If you have lambda w function from this expression, which is absolutely the same as in this rule, we have only our a, but a in our case equal to natural log y. So on the left hand side, very great simplifying step, natural log y. On the right hand side, lambda w function from this from this constant, this is great, we have a constant, we have lambda w function, we will find it later. Okay, and right now, lambda w function, uh, we have natural log y equal to this expression. Right now, we need to find our i. And for this, let's try to apply e on both sides. If we take e right here and e right here, this is equal to y. So we have y equal to e to the power lambda w function of natural log 10 over over 2. So this is our y, but uh, it was our substitution. In the beginning we had like, uh, where do we have the substitution? We had this in the beginning, then square root of x equal to y. So we have like substitution, square root of x equal to y. So we need to raise this to the second power, yeah? So y square, it will be our x. So as a result, we have that our x equal to y square, and in our case, y equal to this. So we have long expression e to the power lambda w function of natural log 10 over 2 and squared. So this expression squared, this is, this is a constant. So lambda w function from the constant, it will be the constant, yeah? And e is the constant, so we squared it, and we have our answer, and I find this answer for you, because I, I think you, you need to know about this approximate answer, so x approximately equal to 3.453. This is our solution to this question. A uh, very long video, but I wanted you to understand this step. I try to do this slowly for you, as you can see, nothing hard, maybe. Maybe a lot of difficulties you will have with this lambda w function, but if you look closely to this, this is nothing hard. You need, just need to create this expression, which is the most important thing in this lambda w function. If you create this expression, very easy, simplifying steps. Very great to question, I guess, yeah? Square root of x to uh, x to the power square root of x equal to 10. I really like this question. So first step, power rule, exponent rule, 
this trick substitution which is really important right here and lambda w function so as you can see three very important step so i hope you understand this but if you still have any question write a question in the comment i try to help everyone thank you for your time and have a great day see you in the next videos and i wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure see ya